Hello, welcome to my chemistry video. I'm previous the tutor. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button button there and so that you can get notification to all my videos. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. It's previous the tutor. So in this video, I have a very simple lesson that I'll be showing you, which a lot of people face challenges is on how to construct and balance chemical equations. First, how to construct the chemical equation? Let's, let's see you've been given sodium reacting with chlorine. How can you construct a chemical equation and be able to know the product that, that are going for? So you need to know the symbol for sodium is this. You need to know the symbol for chlorine is this. Now, before I go into that, there are what we call state symbols. State symbols are just symbols at which a substance can exist. It can be a solid, a liquid, a gas, or in an aqua. We have a solid, that's a symbol state. We have liquid, that's a state symbol. Then we have gas, that's a state symbol. And we have aquas. Aquas is a Q. These are the state symbols. We have four state symbols. Therefore, let's let, let's go back to our uh, formulation. So this, let's say this is a solid, all right? Because sodium is a metal, and chlorine is a gas. Now chlorine is a diatomic molecule, so it has to have a two there, and it acts like gas. What are going to form? Now, how do you know that the compound that is being formed is this? This is a metal. Sodium is a metal found in group one, so it has got one valence electron. Or chlorine is found in, in group seven, and it's an admetal, so it has to gain one electron for it to have. Remember, chlorine has got seven electrons in the outer shell. Sodium has got one electron in the outer shell. So sodium has to lose this electron to chlorine, so that chlorine can become what? Eight. Now, sodium, when it loses this electron, it remains with eight as well in the last shell. So when sodium, when chlorine has got eight, that means now there's a bondage, there's a bond occurring between the two. So since here there's one, and here there's what? There's uh, and there's one. What happens? They just swap like that. So you form sodium chloride as maybe aqueous or something, or a so let's say as a solid. Then how do you make sure that you've balanced this equation? Check on your right side. This side, on your left side first, first this side, and this is your right side. How many sodium atoms do you have this side? Let me say sodium, you have chlorine, this is the right side, then here we have sodium as well as chlorine. Here we have sodium 1, we have chlorine 2, here we have sodium 1, we have chlorine what? 1. How, how do we make sure that we have two chlorine atoms as well this side? That means there must be a 2 in front of chlorine. So that it becomes two times one, so that we have two atoms there. Now, once you put a two in front, remember this is the whole compound, eh? so that two will be here. So that you have two chlorine atoms as the same as this side, as the same as here. Now, the once you put two in front of sodium chloride, sodium has also become two. That means even here you should put what a two, so that when you say two times one, you have two. So here there's, there should also be what a two. And try to compare, has it balanced? Two sodium, two sodium, two chlorine, also two chlorine, and it's balanced. Let's look at another example. Calcium. How do we balance this? Calcium as a solid, react with chlorine as a gas to form calcium chloride as a solid. How do we balance? On the right side, we have calcium and chlorine. On the, sorry, on the left side, we have this. On the right side, we have this. We have calcium as well and chlorine. How many calcium atoms do we have this side? One. How many chlorine atoms do we have this side? Two. How many calcium atoms do we have this side? One. How many chlorine atoms do we have inside? It's two. 
check is it balanced yes because we have one calcium one calcium one two chlorine two chlorine so this one is already balanced what have been given sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid forming sodium sulfate plus water this is a neutralization reaction look how many atoms do you have this add? you have sodium oxygen hydrogen and sulfur even this side you have sodium you have uh, oxygen you have hydrogen you have sulfur the question is how many sodium atoms do you have this side one hydrogen you have one plus two which is three oxygen you have one here plus four which is five sulfur you have one this side sodium we have two okay uh, our oxygen you have four plus one which is five hydrogen you have two you can see that there's a two here then sulfur you have one now you already start with what is not balanced sulfur is balanced hydrogen is not balanced but oxygen is balanced there's five here There's five here and also there's five here. But sodium also not balanced. Let's first start with balancing sodium. So to balance sodium, since we have two this side, to have two this side, you must multiply it by two. So I'm going to, to, to put a two in front there. Now, once we put two in front, that means two is multiplying all the elements here. So that means we have two sodium, two oxygen, two hydrogen. Keeping in mind, so here we have now times two as well. All right sorry not times two there but here we have two hydrogen two oxygen as well that means when you look properly and try to balance we have also four hydrogen atoms because there's two times two and this uh, again there's two here so we have i've changed now to four and oxygen now has changed to what because there's two here plus it has changed to six now Now, uh, are we balanced with this side? Oxygen this side is 5. Mm. How can we balance it up? How can we balance it up? Let's look at hydrogen. Hydrogen is 4. And here there's no hydrogen. It's just here where there's hydrogen. So putting a 2 in front of order, it will give us oh, hydrogen 2 times 2, which is 4. So it has become 4. And will give us another 2 oxygen atoms, which when you add to this 4, will give you what? 6. So it's now balanced. So the balanced equation is now... 2 sodium hydroxide plus H2 sulfate and then sodium 2 sulfate plus 2 H2O. That's a balanced equation. So I don't know if you have any questions, but if you feel like you have questions, you can request for more videos that I can make on how to balance this chemical equation. Otherwise, this was just a wake up, a reminder that you need to know how to balance chemical equations. I'll see you in the next video. I'm with this, the tutor.